Now, the first thing the service provider needs to do to test the RV22 is create AP groups. Now, these are really important because this is where we put all those things we normally associate with networks like Wi-Fi names, passwords, networking configurations. So starting in CN Maestro, hover the mouse on the left-hand side of the menu, locate the icon for configuration, and then you'll see Wi-Fi profiles. We're going to click the Add button. Now make sure you select the RV22 template that's in the bottom there. And let's go ahead and put in some data here, names and so forth. You see the option here to disable the LED. Now this is kind of important. For now we're going to leave it turned on, but you actually can turn off the LED right from this screen. Let's create a WLAN. And we'll give it a you know simple password. Make sure you turn on band steering. Just you want to make sure that the clients stay connected to five gigahertz for the most part. Select our name and just keep going on to the next option there, management, and we'll go ahead and create a password here. Now I just go ahead and leave those items uh, disabled. There's no reason to uh, enable the remote access from a WAN port. Now you notice this option here is for uh, device reset, uh, firmware reset disable. Now this is important. If you are using PPPoE, you probably want to disable the factory reset button because if the customer resets it to factory defaults, they're gonna lose the username and password. For everybody else, you can leave it as is. Default is fine. Because remember, CN Maestro holds the master configuration. So even if a customer defaults the AP, it'll log back into CN Maestro as soon as it gets plugged in and it will get its configuration. So just do our time zone. And I'm going to leave the other things as are as they are. They're just SNMP is disabled by default. There's no need to turn on SNMP. Now you notice the 2.4 gig radio can be enabled or disabled, but the 5 gig radio is always always on. So that, that's why we build the product. It's a it's a Wi-Fi access point. So we're going to require the 5 gig radio to always be on. I recommend you stay with the 80 megahertz channel width. Um, I've tested with some 160. It does work, but some IoT devices, particularly these kind of low end IoT devices, can have some trouble. Uh, seeing a 160 and connecting if you select that. So just stick with the default 80. It's still going to give you 1.2 gigs of uh, mesh link on an 80 megahertz channel. Now you notice a router in bridge mode is, is grayed out. And this is because the CN Maestro actually takes over the control of that configuration. The first device that connects to CN Maestro it sets it as the router and changes its config. And then the other devices are mesh nodes and CN Maestro determines that and then it actually sets them in bridge mode. So the, this configuration is actually controlled by CN Maestro. On the WAN links, DHCP is the default, but there's PPPoE. So if you want to use that, you can do so. Put in the username and password. What I recommend you do if you're using PPPoE is start with DHCP on a, a lab, basically a lab installation, adopt the AP, change the username and password, disconnect it, ship it to the customer, and, and then um, the customer will have the proper PPPoE configuration. Now DNS pro proxy is the default mode. You want to leave it in default proxy mode. Uh, this will allow the access point to proxy the uh, web content uh, and perform the web content filtering for parental controls. It uh, proxies all the DNS requests. And leave the security items all checked by default. Those are fine. And now we're done with the AP groups. And now there is our new AP group created.